Hey, how's it going? My name is Will, and I'm gonna show you how to highlight text in Apple Keynote. So let's be honest, when you're giving a presentation and you have a lot of words up on the screen, people in the audience might not necessarily want to read words that are on a screen, but let's say there's something up there that's really important and you need your audience to see and read those words. The best way to draw attention to it is to highlight it. And you might be like, well, how do you highlight words that are like on a screen? I'm gonna show you how to do that within Apple Keynote today. All right guys, so here we are inside Apple Keynote and I'm gonna show you what I use when I use primary sources. So inside the presentation, I have primary source and here's the text I want the students in my class to be able to read on the screen. And here you go, it's a letter. And so after giving them a few seconds to read it, I will ask them a question, what is the purpose of this letter? And so if you're standing in a room, it's kind of hard to get students to like see where the text is that you want them to see. And so what I want them to see is this right here, these two questions, why has no attention been paid to this? Why is their furniture and other belongings not being confiscated and distributed to the workers? And so in a real room, you could just walk up to the screen and point, but what I like to do is to highlight. And so how you do that is this, you go to shapes, you click on the box, and what I like to do is go over to format, and you can make it blue. Uh, lately, what I've been doing is making it yellow, because yellow is like the most like ubiquitous highlighter color. And so if you come over to here, click on yellow to make it as bright yellow as possible. Under opacity, let's go with 50%. And so now it's see-through and you place it over the top of the text. I'm gonna place it right about there. Drag it out to here. And then the animation that it needs, the build-in is wipe from left to right. And so as you can see, ba-bam, looks like it's being highlighted. So we're gonna go Command D to duplicate it. Drag it over here. We're gonna drag it over here just like this. And what I like to do, you see there's overlap right here. I kind of like to make it as seamless as possible. So it looks, make this one like this, and then make this one like this. All right, and then we'll go Command D one more time to duplicate it. Maybe we'll bring this one up a bit. I'm kind of a perfectionist with this stuff, but don't worry about it if, if you're not. I wanna make it look as realistic as possible, like a highlighter. And so you're not done yet. You need to come over to build order. Here's your three rectangles. You need to make highlight the bottom two and go um, after previous build. And that way they will play immediately after. And so here is your new highlighted text. So the text will build in. You'll ask them the question, what is the purpose of this letter? And after not maybe getting the responses I want, I can say, all right, look at this last part. And bam, it highlights it all together. And so students can be like, oh yeah, I get it now. So that's how you do it, it's pretty simple. All right guys, if you made it this far in the video, do me a huge favor, hit the like button and comment below if this was helpful or not. Um, but I appreciate it as always. So until the next time guys, bye bye.